Can you use Easy Drummer 3 on an older module like the TD20? Yes, absolutely. It works great, and I'm going to show you how. If you've got a newer module equipped with USB, go with USB. It's simpler and doesn't need any extra gear. Plus, USB cables are more dependable and less likely to accidentally disconnect. What do you need? An audio interface with USB and 5-pin MIDI. A 5-pin DIN MIDI cable. Finally, you need a copy of Easy Drummer 3. You can register for a free trial at tunetrack.com. Connect the audio interface to your computer. Keep in mind, certain audio interfaces may need extra drivers or software. Next, connect the MIDI cable to the output of your module. Connect the other end of the cable to the MIDI input of your audio interface. Ensure the MIDI cable is fully plugged in. On your computer, open Easy Drummer 3, go to Settings and select Audio and MIDI Setup. Choose your USB audio interface under Outputs. Try to set your audio buffer size as low as possible to decrease latency. Just be mindful that setting it too low might cause artifacts. The best buffer size for you depends on your individual circumstances, but generally, you want the buffer as low as possible. From the Settings menu, select eDrums and MIDI in. Make sure your audio interface is listed and selected as a MIDI device. Under Presets, select your particular role-in module. Based on my experience, you probably won't need to adjust anything else in Easy Drummer 3 if your module triggers well with the built-in sounds and you're using standard roll-in pads. If you make sure the hi-hat is configured correctly in your module, you can use the default hi-hat settings. That's it! Have fun! And enjoy the new sounds!